what's up guys welcome to my channel my name is danica and i'm a part-time reseller on the poshmark app i'm a full-time flight attendant part-time reseller i sell on poshmark canada and poshmark us and today's video you guessed it another haul yes lots of hauls coming your way i've been thrifting like crazy but it is with reason and that reason is because i want to okay thrifting and sourcing is self-care for me and i just need a little extra self-care these days so i've been thrifting a lot but i've also been listing way more than i was and also making more sales less sales than what i am usually used to but more sales than i've been making recently like compared to recent months like may june july august has been way better for me so anyway let's get into it hold on i already hauled this yesterday <laughs> okay so never mind about this but i do have another haul okay that actually makes me happy because that means this is the last haul I have to film and then I'll be caught up with everything that I have and then I can maybe film a couple what solds and kind of keep you up with how I've been doing, what's been going on and yeah, okay, and I'm excited. Okay, so this is my hauls from two different layovers. So I will link them both up here one after the other one of them is my victoria thrift with me and the other one is a grand prairie thrift with me so i had two layovers where i was able to go thrifting um pretty much back to back so let's get into it okay in victoria i only bought one thing um we don't stay in victoria we stay in Sydney and this is the only thing I found was a Lululemon Swiftly Tech Tee. This is a size 4. Oh, what's the saying on this one? Um, hold on. Life is too short for the treadmill. Go out and run. Alright, I guess it's less problematic than the last one I read. So anyway, size four, long sleeve, swiftly tech. Um, this is good for fall. So, and I, it was only priced at $5. So I went ahead and picked that up. The rest of the thrifts in Sydney were dry. I was also not like super, okay, we have these like cleaning wipes at work and they like actually make my skin peel after I use them. I won't show you, but my fingers have been peeling. Like the chemicals are so strong. Okay, let me put that down. <laughs> okay, and then this is everything I got in Grand Prairie. So how about I'll link that video here. I'll link the Victoria one before and then the Grand Prairie one will go here. Very excited about this. This is a oversized to me roots crew neck sweatshirt um this is perfect for fall for me i love i mean who doesn't love a good oversized crew neck for fall right this is a another swiftly tech tee long sleeve but i've never seen it with the sides ruched like this it is actually an older style i looked it up on lulu fanatics and it's from like 2014 but it's in very good condition and this one's a size six Next, what do you want to see? Ooh, my Goodwill card. <laughs> my receipts. I need to keep those for my taxes. Okay, these I like actually love to hate and hate to love, but they are vintage Santa Barbara clothing jeans. Okay. And they just keep getting better and better the more you look at them. So it's like a raw hem on the top. Pretty low rise. This is giving classic 90s. And then you 
You go and you, what? Lace bottom, okay, and sequins. These do need a solid wash. I don't even know, want to know what kind of grime is hiding within that lace. I got a sore throat just looking at that. <laughs> but, I mean, I had to. I actually had to. I had no choice. I had to grab those. Next. This was my first time finding this brand mm, at a thrift store. I have found it at consignment stores before and it was always just priced too high. So this is Denim Forum, which is, I think it's an Aritzia house brand. It might not be, but I know that Aritzia sells it. Um, it's the Nico Midrise Skinny Crop. They are tiny. They're a size 25, but the price was right. And, you know, we're getting to fall. So jeans will be in demand. And speaking of jeans, I never, ever, ever thought I would find this brand in Grand Prairie. But you know what? Every time I go to that Goodwill, it's pretty good. Like, and this is only the stuff I got. I left a lot of stuff behind. Um, so these are mother jeans and they're like a flare white pant. What is the name of this style? Usually it says in here, the Weekender Frey in Fairest of the Mall. So if you don't know, mother has the information right in there. These are also pretty small, I think. They're a size 26. I also found a pair of Citizens of Humanity um, rocket jeans, but I just, I didn't really have space to bring back four pairs of jeans. So I left those. And last but not least, these feel like brand new. Like literally they feel brand new. Lululemon Wonder Unders, and they're like a really pretty coral. And they're a size six, I think. Yes. Okay, if you ever find a size dot like this, um, I have a post on my Instagram that shows you how to read it so that you can plug that number into Lulu Fanatics and get all the information you could ever want about that item. Uh, mostly everything is on there. Like if it's really, really old, maybe not but mostly everything is on there it is hard to find men's stuff on lulu fanatics because they don't have a men's section and that really annoys me actually um but anyway that's a me problem so okay we're caught up for now on the hauls i am planning on going to the bins on monday today is saturday <laughs> i have not processed any of the stuff from my last bins haul from my last two bins hauls but maybe i have some time off coming up so I should be able to kind of like crank out some pictures crank out some listings go to the consignment stores make some cash and um yeah then my dad will get off my case about having so much unlisted stuff which you know what he's right but he didn't have to say that um and he's not on my case I'm just joking um but yeah, that's all I got. So as you can see, like when I'm thrifting on a layover, I have to be super picky because I only have so much space in my work suitcase. So they're smaller hauls, but I like to think they're like pretty good hauls. So I will probably be back on, let's say Monday with a what's old video, but that will probably be out before this gets uploaded so all I'm trying to say is be on the lookout for what's old videos I am going to try to get those back more into the rotation um, and maybe I'll do like three videos a week I'll do a thrift with me a haul and a what's old I don't know let me know in the comments what kind of content you'd like to see from me I'm tr kind of trying to mix it up doing the thrift with me's doing the hauls doing the um, what else am I doing? Unboxings. I will have more of those coming, at least two more, I think. <laughs> but I have some really good stuff coming. Like I have some really good stuff coming to me that hopefully is going to make me some good money. 
and uh, yeah okay I gotta get back in the kitchen and keep working on my birthday cake because my party is tomorrow and so far I've got the cakes made the buttercream made the crumble is made I made the ganache and it's split so that'll be a game time decision tomorrow if I'm gonna use it or not it's not a big deal if it doesn't work out. It's just like a very expensive mess up because chocolate and heavy cream are not cheap. So hopefully it works out. If not, honestly, whatever. Um, I might just use it like inside the cake because then it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Um, but you're supposed to like kind of cover the cake and do the drips down the side. But if it's split, that's not going to work at all. So anyway. I will I'll let you go. I have so much to do before my friends come tomorrow. I gotta mop the floors. I gotta vacuum. Well, I don't have to, but like, it's actually pretty clean in here. Um, but I do, there's gonna be two babies. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. There's gonna be two babies, so I need to make sure that like things are put away. Um, and yeah, all right. I will see you next time. Bye.